hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome as well so today we are revamping this week y'all uh, my wigs tend to look like this more especially after me wearing them for the longest time or just you know being ignorant on how i you know place them or protect them so they tend to look something like this but if you happen to be in the same situation i got your back so in this video we'll be doing a lot of ironing there's pretty much nothing than ironing because we are going to use a an ironing method so the first thing that i'm going to do is to make sure that i have something on my bed that is my gown then an iron put some water in the iron and the iron that i'm using is by phillips and it i feel like it's so hot compared to other eyes that i've used so you want to make sure that you place your your iron and on the maximum heat so before you go in with everything you want to make sure you detangle your hair if it's worse you want to make sure you take time you do that mine was not too bad but so i went in with the small comb just to make sure that everything is detangled and i'm making sure that i'm not gonna break my hair because this is heat baby it's like heat so another step that i didn't do here you guys is to go in with a heat protector um the one that i usually use is by perfect choice it's a black bottle that i, I didn't list here but if you really really are concerned about your wig you may want to go in with that but this wig has been through a lot as you guys can see it still uh, have some purple that is because i had dyed it purple and the purple is not coming off <laughs> so yeah so here's the thing um you just want to go back and forth with an iron and your comb you know making sure that everything is still straight and as you can see you guys the hair is starting to look smooth just like you know through five or six iron takes so that is what i'm actually doing so i just took my time you all i probably took an hour to iron this hair that's how um time i had <laughs> and how hair like the more you iron your hair guys the more it becomes straight so i just like fast forwarded most of the stuff just showing you guys how to iron you want to make sure um you iron per section that is ironing the sides first and then ironing the back and then ironing the other side you know just making sure you are taking your time and making sure that the heat is penetrating through as you can see my guideline to straight hair is when when i'm ironing the hair starts to curve towards the end like i don't know if i'm insane but as you guys can see already the hair is like smooth before i can even like do the inside of the hair so now i'm just using this method of taking an iron and hold the wig on my hand and pull it i feel like it also works so much better more especially if you want a silky straight hair so this is another method that you want to you know um take does that make sense to make <laughs> Yeah, English. So now I turned my hair to the inside. You want to make sure that you do not forget the inside of your hair because this is the root to straight hair and silky hair. So I want to make sure um, everything is straight and it is nice. So I turned my wig and ironed it inside as well and then went back to the same method to make sure that I'm dealing with straight hair. Okay, so I really love this method. Uh, because it really helps with my hair getting straight um you guys i have tried using uh straightness and stuff i feel like i haven't you know i'm not really falling in love with that unless if i can find the hottest one but an iron is really working for me so right now i'm dealing with the closure so i just folded my hair um, into uh the sides and then make sure that i press the heat and then put it on it's back if that makes sense and then make sure that i'm dealing with it um just pressing and making sure that everything is straight this will help your wigs lay down like it will lay down straight um so yeah i was trying to comb my hair and it 
burning so you want to make sure you avoid such maybe you want to wait for it to dry before you can go through with the comb but yeah that is how the hair is looking already like before i can even go in with anything so right now i'm going in with a tiny bit of olive oil you can use any olive oil that you want the one that i'm using is by pride i didn't show you the bottle guys i just ran to the kitchen to you know take some so you want to make sure you massage the oil or the hair every strand of the hair must receive the oil especially with blonde oil blonde tends to break so you want to make sure you concentrate the oil into the hair i don't like using serums because i feel like they sort of wet my hair and my hair doesn't bounce so that is how the hair is already looking i feel like it's shiny like the olive oil just bring life to my hair you want to make sure you use a little bit because you do not want to wet your hair so i'm just gonna go back to the same process of combing and then ironing so um i do not have time like frame of how long i'm gonna iron my hair and stuff but yeah that's pretty much that i just go back and do that and that is how the hair is looking and the ends you guys from the start of the video you could see they were not moving at all so yeah that is how the hair is actually looking and yeah i thought maybe i should do some slow mo <laughs> not that is helping much but yeah I was just wanted to show you guys how bouncy the hair is man, compared to the first time you saw the hair so yeah that is me trying to pose for you guys and that is how the hair is looking um if you realize this is the take from uh the previous video if you haven't watched it please go and watch the look and yeah so that is how the hair is looking thank you so much you guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe to like and comment and i'll see you every tuesday and every friday bye